I might not be the best at cricket, but I strongly believe that field of view plays a role on the positioning of the players as well as the umpire on the field. So today we are going to talk about field of view and going forward, I'll call it FOV. Yeah, FOV. <laughs> so the first thing I'd like to show you is a clip of me demonstrating field of view using these two babies here. I'm pretty sure the whole world knows what these are because they've become really invaluable during this COVID uh, pandemic. So just keep in mind what you see and that will help you to build context in terms of my explanations. basically how much of an environment you can see at any given time so meaning without doing this or that it's basically what you can see when your eyes are fixed ahead and with humans um, we are designed to have a field of view of a range from 200 to 220 degrees and that's if you know you have both your eyes one eye has a field of view of a range from 170 to 175 and together you basically, well, both the eyes basically make up um, what you call the binocular field of view. And within the binocular field of view, you also have what they call the stereoscopic binocular field of view, which is 114 degrees. And this is basically where the field of view of both your eyes overlap. And it's the region at which you are able to see things in 3D. Now let's talk field of view in VR. So it's more of a property of the VR goggle lenses and not so much of your eyes. And on average, what I've seen is it comes, or well, the VR goggles come at 110 degrees and that's based on the data that I've collected. And the maximum that I've seen can go all the way up to 210, which was the star VR goggles and followed by your Pimax, which was 200 degrees, and it can go as low as 95 degrees. I don't know if it can go even much lower than that, but if you guys do know, please do, you know, comment down below. Um, yeah, so basically, like I said, it's not your, more about your eyes, but more about, you know, the, the design of the VR goggles. <laughs> When designing VR goggles, there's two factors that must be taken into consideration, which is the size of the lens as well as the distance of the lens from either the eye or from the display. So both these factors basically um, have an impact on the size of the, um, the VR goggles. And you know, with bigger VR goggles, it means then you, you know, you're impacting your head, um, which obviously then impact your ergonomics. So you don't want to be wearing heavy VR goggles. And this is why um, the hardware design is very important. And obviously um, you're op getting an optimal FOV in order to make sure that you don't design very heavy um, VR goggles. If the lens is thin, to get the best or optimal FOV, it means you need to make the distance between the lens and the display much larger. And obviously you can see this is impacting what? The size of the, um, the VR goggles. With thick lenses, however, you don't need that distance between the lens and the display to be large. However, because of the engineering challenges that they come with, you then have to have a higher resolution display. When it comes to the distance between the user's eyes and the lens, if the distance is large, then the FOV reduces. And the a way to actually counteract that is by using a thick lens. But like we've already said, with a thick lens means having a high resolution screen or display. But what if we could just increase the diameter of the lens? 
This could be a solution, however, that comes with its own optical ir irregularities. And of course, because it's a larger diameter, then also the VR goggles have to be, you know, larger and therefore heavier. And we've already discussed that this is not, you know, an optimal solution. So in summary, these are all the things that you need to take into consideration. Um, the size of the lens, um, you know, the distance of the lens from the um, display as well as the, um, the eyes. And you basically need to find that optimal um, combination, you know, that sweet spot. So on my side, I have started to appreciate the intricate cases that come with actually designing VR goggles. And this has been a very exciting learning journey because as much as I knew a little bit of, about FOV, but I didn't know how that actually impacts, you know, the VR world. And the next time when you do buy VR goggles, definitely do, you know, take this into consideration. Like I said, to summarize, um, on average, you've got 110 uh, degrees um, VR goggles out there. You do have like the ones that, you know, gets closer to um, our human eyes, which is a range of 200 and 220. So basically, you know, if you're looking at two VR goggles that cost the same and they have the same other properties, but the difference is the FOV, the one is 110 and the other one is 200, you would obviously, you would obviously wanna go for the one that is 200 degrees. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to today. And I hope you enjoyed my Cricket skills. <laughs>